Well, hey, hello, everybody. Uh, Ace Combat. <coughs> Let's get this. For some reason, my copy of Ace Combat 3 uh, is just not working. I put it in my PlayStation, and it's just like, cannot read disc, even though the disc looks like it's friggin' brand new. Now, I have not broken out all of my other PlayStations to uh, try it out on all of those. Uh, no. <laughs> I know this game is very bright. So I know to turn it down at least once. <laughs> and what you want to do is turn the uh, music and the sound effects down just a little bit. Because uh, the music and the sound effects in this game, for some reason, they actually kind of overwhelm the uh, actual sound effects. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. Ace Combat 4, you guys. Let's get this. I was going to play Ace Combat 3, uh, but my copy... Uh, like I said, it's not working, so I was like, man, I I'm playing Ace Combat, I don't give a- I don't give a care. I don't give a rat. <laughs> so then I was like, you know, fuck it. Let's grab Ace Combat 4. You ready, guys? Let's get this new game. We'll be playing on hard because, realistically, I'm amazing at Ace Combat. <laughs> I just love Ace Combat a bit too much, really. Let's get this. Oh. I was just a child when the stars fell from the skies. But I remember how they built a cannon to destroy them. And in turn how that cannon brought war upon us. War was an abstract idea, nothing more than a show on TV. As a child, I only saw it as something that happened in some faraway land. Until that final day of summer. school, I looked up in the skies. A sound like distant thunder. In the blue skies far above me, contrails drew dizzying circles around in a crazy waltz. A battle in the beautiful skies far away. I could not tear my gaze away from them. spiraling and spewing orange flames to crash by the cape. The same cape where my family lived. Now they only live in my memories of days past. Damn. The victor circled around to confirm the kill. And on his craft, there was a large number 13 emblazoned in yellow. I will never forget this. Oh, 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 oh. oh, this game is good. The man. Allies retreated across the ocean before the onslaught of the enemy. Our little town in the heart of the mainland fell into deep isolation. Sitting Duck, you guys. 2004. Four years after the planet fall of the Ulysses 1994 XF-04 asteroids, Stonehenge, the erosion weapon of mass destruction, was originally built to shoot down asteroids. Upon discovering its potential as an anti-aircraft weapon, the erosions ruled the skies over the mainland. The ISAF's attempts to destroy Stonehenge through airstrikes failed. As a result, strategic positions on the mainland were lost. This in turn forced ISAF to evacuate from the east coast to North Point. ISAF GHQ is regrouping its remaining combat forces at North Point. However, the Erosions control most parts of the mainland, and they have forward deployed bombers to Wrigley Air Base, a former ISAF facility. This bomber force will attempt to deal a lethal blow to the ISAF at North Point from this strategic position. This game is so intense, yeah, holy crap. I love the story in this game as well. It's, it's a really touching story. Here is the current sit rep and your orders for deployment. Effective immediately. So basically you can see in the top right there, North Point. Our early morning radar network. 
allowing several air bombers to penetrate. That's uh, that's our house, and everything else is bad boy house. Bomber formation to strike Allen Ford Air Base and then move on to targets at North Point. Our air defense forces are extremely weak at this point in time, hence our GHQ is a sitting duck. It is mission critical that you destroy the bombers and neutralize the threat before they get past Newfield Island. Remember, you are the first line of defense for North Point, and the fate of ISAF lies in your hands. Right, so basically, long story short, we've kind of been forced into a small corner of territory, and we are basically the last remaining uh, fighting force on ISAF's side, and uh, our enemies, the Erugians, uh, have basically sent the, uh, you know, the, the death fleet of bombers to kind of finish us off, and essentially losing this fight here, uh, we would lose the war, so uh, our pilot is like a fresh trainee, and we're kind of out uh, to uh, stop these guys from uh, uh, really destroying us, really. I mean, this is our last defense, essentially, right off the bat. Let's get this. So there's really nothing else you could do at the beginning of the first mission. There's, you don't have any money. Uh, there's only one aircraft available. And considering you don't have any money, <laughs> you kind of can't buy it. Uh, also, you... Again, you don't have any money, so you can't buy any extra weapons or do anything like that. So, I mean, just grab the F4 and your uh, bombs and head on in. Sitting duck, you guys. Let's get this. Mission objective, destroy all indicated targets. Ooh, ace combat, you guys. And the sound effects in this game are actually better than any ace combat available. Strangely enough... I, I would actually say that the sound effects in this game are, are right on point. Perfect. <laughs> the F4E Phantom. So yeah, you start the game in the Phantom. There are some pretty kick-ass jets in this game. Amidst the blue skies, a link from the past to the future. The sheltering wings of the Protector. Let's get this. <laughs> you are now under my Eat command. Enough. Six bombers on vector 360 confirmed. Multiple enemies on radar. Today's my birthday. Victory sure would be nice. Ah, <laughs> well. AWACS, I think uh, I'm about to give you a nice big present. <laughs> Good old F4, man. <laughs> I'll eventually get there. <laughs> I want that other one. All right, we got four four tigers defending. Oh, it's not four tigers. There's a fish bed here. Mig 21. Oh, he's about to overtake me. Hi there. Mobius One, currently over city airspace. Eight miles to the target. That's one down. <laughs> the F4 is so heavy, man. Holy. <laughs> it's like driving a, uh, a school bus with wings or something. <laughs> I love the F4 though, man. This thing's a goddamn tank with wings, is what it really is. One target remaining. Target you ready? Say good night, Erugian dog. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby. Sky Eye, this is Alan Fort. Got visual on the downed bombers. Whose kill was that? Make sure to thank him. Yeah, baby. That's a roundup. It's going home. I like to watch my shit. Woo! See him pelt into the ground? <laughs> Ace combat. You, efforts, Hopefully we got an S ranking because that way we get like 80 grand. However, our victory will be meaningless should you fail the next mission. 
Let's see what we got here. Bam! Yeah, 84,000. We got ourselves an S rank, baby. Mmm! <laughs> Took down two MiG-21 fish beds, two Tigers, and six TU-95s, which is a uh, bomber. Nice big, big fat bomber. The war seemed to unfold in the blink of an eye. I don't remember exactly when the forces from the West occupied my town. I was too busy scanning the skies day after day, waiting for Yellow 13 to reappear. Hmm. One day I'll find you, 13. You can't escape destiny. And in they come. Before I knew it, everything changed. The language they taught us at school. Our friendly local sheriff disappeared and was replaced by foreign MPs. In the beginning, some people secretly tuned into broadcasts from North Point on their parabolic antennas. But as time passed, the broadcast no longer came in. Maybe the satellites were destroyed. All non-military computer networks were shut down. Gasoline was rationed to civilians. Man. Though we lived in the 21st century, we were reduced to using crystal radios and horse-drawn carts. I moved in with my uncle in town, who used to be a taxi driver. Out of gasoline and out of work, my uncle did nothing but to drown himself in drink. I earned my keep by playing the harmonica in the town bar, the one thing I was good at. I'd play for sullen occupation soldiers in exchange for their charity and loose change, and use the money to support my uncle and myself. My uncle trash-talked the barkeep who catered to the enemy soldiers, but he never refused the money I brought home. As for myself, I had a crush on the barkeep's only daughter, who was a little older than me. Another day passed, yet still no sign of the fighter plane Yellow 13 in the skies above our town. <laughs> this game is so intense, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. I love the, the story in this game. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, gets my blood rushing, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Game save, you guys. And yes, if uh, you remember me playing Ace Combat Zero on the channel, um, I will be doing a featured episode for each one of the jets in the game as well, just like I did for um, Ace Combat Zero. Um, I have a file on this game that is like literally god tier. <laughs> like, if you saw the stats, like my total targets shot down on my total mission time, you'd be like, what the hell, man? Well, you guys know me well enough, I guess. I go all the way, baby. <laughs> Alright, well, uh... Imminent threat, you guys, huh? Let's get into it. The Helmut Wrigley Air Base is located in close proximity to our front lines, making it the proverbial knife at our throat. A large illusion bomber contingent was deployed to Wrigley. Their intentions are clear. A full-scale strike on our forces at North Point is imminent. Hmm. They're planning a second to attack. Catch these bombers on the ground and destroy them. We intend to turn the parking ramp at Wrigley into a junkyard. Yeah. We'll send them back to the trash heaps that they were built in. All right. Mission two, you guys. Uh... <laughs> Just a tiny little duck. <laughs> Do we save? Yeah. We can buy the uh, tiger now if we wanted to. Uh, other weapon for this napalm 32 leaving us with 52 how much is the f4 oh, god damn it <laughs> yeah we'll be doing this game one mission at a time i'm just looking at uh it's actually 52 that's hilarious 
We're gonna save our Cashola though, because uh, I think you unlock the F-16 in this mission, and the F-16 is like one of the better, obviously much better than an F-4, uh, but for the first couple missions, you'll want to grab up that F-16. I'm pretty sure it's in the next mission that you unlock the F-16, or it's in the mission 3 in the Arctic area. But, uh, yeah, man, thank you guys for coming up and watching this episode of Ace Combat 4 Shattered Skies. Oh, my goodness. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I will upload another episode, maybe even a couple more episodes of this game, like three today or something like that. I'm not sure. Don't uh, depend on that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, freaking love you guys, and I wish you guys the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you in the very next episode. Bye. Bye.